Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Navis Work Freedom, I want to go over the new features available in Navis Work Freedom 2026. Um, it's been a lot of changes in 2026, apart from a modern look and an improved user interface. It's going to be a lot of good option added to Navis Work Freedom during the viewpoint creation. You can take a look at that, uh, cre creating property sets and much more. So without further ado, let's jump into Navis Work Freedom. I can show you the new features, uh, but don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you like the content. In today's episode, Learning Navis Work Freedom 2026, we want to go through all the new features that has been added to Navis Work Freedom. So starting with the actual home tab or um, basically when you open the Navis, you will see, you can see it's a little bit modern look lot of improvement over here it looks like the actual Navis work managed 2026 if you have any recent file you can see it over here you can have new open you can open any items or if you want to go to the main uh, basically user interface you can kind of click on this and it's going to take you to the main user interface so we're going to go through all of these tab one by one and we will basically um, look at the new items that has been added over here and I was a, I would like to point out a few items for you as well so let's first open one model so we can kind of start uh, the review okay so starting with the home tab basically nothing changed on the project panel um, so you have the same thing uh, transforms appearances There's a lot of changes for the appearances um, and the managed version of 2026 but for the, the NWD or the freedom version um, nothing you basically just click on the appearances and it's going to reset everything back to the original colors nothing is going to be a change the one that I worth mentioning here is the selection uh, tree uh, so if I click on this it basically add it over here you don't need to go to the view tab and then basically kind of under the windows and open up uh, the selection tree they kind of place it over here you could have seen it in 2025 as well but I thought this worth mentioning here so since we got here you can kind of look at uh, the selection tree right here under the windows as well so continue on the other panels under the visibility option um, you basically have all the same the only one if I select over here let me um, open this all of this okay so if I hide you guys can see they basically um, add one unhide children option here which is gonna turn on on unhide everything from this item that you selected this layer that you selected below so if I say this you guys can see it's basically do all the conduits all the way down which is gonna be the last layer of this the children of this and then other other one on top is still stay hidden so that's the one that basically they added uh, for unhide children uh, I just want you guys to be aware you can kind of access it over here the next panel which is going to be the display panel so a little bit changes over here you have a property set right now and you have the properties and basically you have a drop down over here you can select what you want to create or what type of property you want to see um, like the manage one that we went through if I go to views you can see right now they added four uh, properties panels so you can create different sets for each property to see a different information uh, from your model so how to create all of this um, so the first one it's by default is a quick properties that you can go through the option adjust what exactly you want to see for the quick properties this one is just item name and an item type so if I want to create a property sets for mine I can click on this this is the first property that is created by default if I want to add more I'm gonna click over here and just let's say set one um, if you want to search for something let's say I'm, I'm looking for um, the um, uh, let's say category category 
and see if he can find okay C doesn't have the category okay there you go didn't see it so this is the first one if you want to let's say you want to do a different set you just put a two um, I don't know let's just do family and type you know just let's say that's family and let me go to type so this is gonna be my second so you can you can you can create as many set as you want for your properties but you only have four panels to see them right and what I mean by that is this is my first panel this is the drop down so the drop down is gonna be the main one if I want to go set and come over here you see basically shows the categories for me everything on this one if I go back to the quick properties it's gonna show me the quick properties per the custom settings if I want to go to set 2 it basically shows here the family and type you guys can see it over here so what I would do on mine I just leave this one on quick properties and then basically I have the property panels you can so we do have to up to three so you can kind of select these for this one like this one shows one this one shows two so let's say if we click on something uh, basically they're gonna give us um, a kind of an info related to that set so you can even select all you know and then it basically shows you everything it's again it just depends on what you want to see how you want to see all of those these sets are only for creating up to four panel to see them but you can create a bunch of sets you know and from the drop down if you want to just use it over here you can select here if you want to have a property panel you can turn it on so this is I thought it's gonna be a good thing a good addition to Navis World Freedom that's gonna give you that ability to have the different um, sets so you can get different information from a, a, an object or element when you click on so timeline player back um, same thing nothing specific on this one uh, if you go to the viewpoint uh, tab um, so this one nothing change is gonna be the same camera perspective tile these are kind of the same thing if you uh, kind of open this one you kind of uh, have that roll and look at um, if you want to be a little bit more specific about your camera um, steering wheel navigation a little bit change over here so what I would for the let's say navigation if I click on the orbit uh, you guys can see I have a pivot point uh, on my model right so and that's gonna be the green uh, this is by default that they kind of goes over there and they added this pivot log for 2026 and also this is available in the manage so if you want to log a location for the pivot so you have a better navigation tool in your meanings let's say I want to select this one and I want to lock so this is turns on and let's see how it looks like right now so you can see basically first of all when I select that uh, my actual point goes over there I want to lock it and it turns blue so that's what the basically change is gonna tell you that you locked your pivot pivot point for that model in that location and that's available for 2026 so if you go to the 2016 to 2025 version which is gonna be the two default right now for your NWDs when you um, export from NW, from your manage so you can set your NWDs to be exported as 2026 or you can set it to be exported as 2016 to 2025 which doesn't have any of these so again if I want to change over here I come over there well, let me just select this wall and if I move you guys can see kind of turns back to green it means it's not locked and you can see it here and as soon as I click on it turns to blue and lock the pivot point so my project is gonna rotate or pivot around this point and it turns blue showing me that is locked so this is in terms of the actual um, um, you know just the navigation um, nothing on the enable sectioning uh, for the view review the measurement panel at the basically added save measurement so you can kind of save it and send it like export it out so and this is also available in navis that's for sure so uh, navis work manage 
so between these two points is going to give you all the info that you needed and you can kind of save that measurement so when you save that measurement it's going to open up another box um, so you can kind of have a bunch of items that are saved um, you can delete them you can edit them basically name them uh, if you want to send it to somebody exactly all the info and you can kind of export them out so I, th I thought this is also a good feature and good add to the Navis work freedom for the end user to play in NWD model which is going to be the viewer version um, the next one when it comes to the comment let me just open up our saved viewpoint so if you have any viewpoint saved in your Navis work manage uh, and you have comments on because right now we can add comments to uh, viewpoints um, also if there is going to be any hidden object or any appearance profile or like any basically color change you will see that in NWD as well so if I go on this it basically tells me that this viewpoint has appearance override it means I had appearance profiler in my actual manage and then this one applied to this viewpoint I had some hidden objects so this one shows has a visibility override it means some of the lines some of the objects uh, have been hidden that's why you see this icon next to this viewpoint and the last one is the note right so the note or the comment can be added to the viewpoints you can add as many comments as you want it basically shows the comment section over there and you'll be able to see what's going on if you just hover over them and if you don't want to hover over that you can go to the uh, comment section and click on the viewpoint it basically tell you exactly uh, what was over there right you can add as many check the status and everything is going to be over here so to me this is a, a game changer if you want to add comments to your viewpoints for your coordination if you want to let people know that some items are hidden on this if you say the appearance has been changed so this is going to give you a lot of info also is going to give you a good ability to communicate with the team so animation nothing specific everything is basically in there nothing changed um, if I go to uh, the view these are all the same actually but the one that I kind of liked and you guys can see has been added over here let me just go back a bit um, it's the sectioning tool so they basically add the sectioning tool we all know we can go to a uh, viewpoint uh, have a, like a um, the actual sectioning right here enabled and we can kind of go from here but they basically added this shortcut as well under the view so but you gotta make sure that you have this under fix so if I go under let's say above and below or any of this is not available for you you gotta make sure you have your <clears throat> basically under fixed your mode and uh, when it's under fixed everything and right now I can kind of select it basically from the bottom from the top from the above you can kind of open this up really really quick right so let me just go back over here enable it so you guys can see it um, if I go from the top uh, and then also if I have this it basically doesn't kind of give me anything you see it's the mode it's above or below it doesn't show it all when I go on fix it's gonna turn it on for me because I have access to the grid and also I have access to the levels and I can kind of move the stuff up but the main, main point over here is if I click on this and above you can see it's basically just change it for me right so I thought this is gonna be a really good addition to whatever we have right here and it's gonna help people to access real quick so you don't have to go back here click on it enable it and all of those you can just come here real quick and then click on and then there you go you can kind of use it um, all the other items are the same if you again didn't see any of the properties and all the items right here that you want to do you can kind of click on this and turn them on to see so last thing is going to be the output nothing has been added and basically that's all um, so in general there was like a four or five main items um, that was added apart from you know the modern look a little bit general improvements but the ones that are really important and stands out all these 
showing all of uh, the attributes to a viewpoint that was created in Manage and transferred into Navis Freedom through an NWD model. Also, the unhide children. Uh, if you go to view, you can see the sectioning uh, plus the comments that we looked about uh, looked uh, looked at uh, measurement, saving measurement, um, locking, and the last one, the selection tree, and the main one was the display for the property set. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.